making it your duty to lay curses on me every day and by so doing giving God the reasons to bless me every day. Judy Austin has become Nollywood's most hated and disliked woman following her entanglement with popular Nollywood star Joel Edoche. When you think you've seen it all, the actress and her husband dropped and monetized this video on Yol's Facebook page and YouTube channel. In the video Yol captured, Ijele, Judy Austin breaks silence, shares the story. The actress celebrated and announced they've got a new baby. Judy Austin sang and testified about God's special love for her, hinting that she had a difficult pregnancy during a difficult time in their lives. From my childhood, my youth, Till I gave birth to all my kids, even till this last baby, I put to bed when, when it seems as if it won't happen. That is God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth made sure that I, Judy, that I am fine, and that I came home with my baby, and that I came out and my baby came out. As you can imagine, Nigerians and fans of the Edoche family were enraged. They condemned her for not keeping quiet but making herself the center of attention. This is coming just days after the actress made an Instagram post mourning Kambili, the late son of Yol and May Edoche, on her Instagram page. Many called her out, saying she never posted the boy on his birthdays. Others claimed she is seeking attention, especially as the birth mother of the late boy hasn't even posted yet. In the past month, Judy has had the whole country hurling profanities at her after Kambili's strange and sudden demise on March 30, 2023. Even though Kambili's passing could have been natural, many blamed Judy for being behind the tragic incident. Others accused the actress of using Juju to hurt the child. Bad things started happening in the Edoche household after Yol Edoche married her as his second wife in April of 2022. The husband snatcher accusations, dragging, and cursing became so much that the 31 year old actress limited comments on her Instagram page. Even her colleagues in the Nollywood and entertainment industry are not sparing her. Georgina Onuoha, Uche Madwagu, Bibi Niger stars, and media personalities have been dragging her, calling her posts and actions insensitive. Without your curses, I, I, I wouldn't have come this far in life so soon, so fast. How did Judy Austin become the most disliked actress, not only in Nollywood but in Nigeria? Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. Nollywood actress Judy Austin looks gentle and calm and even has the prettiest smile when she speaks. But in the past year, she has quickly become the most despised figure in the Nigerian entertainment industry. It is certainly not a secret that nobody is an angel in Nollywood, even your favorite screen actors know Holy Pass. But Judy is far from being a saint and according to fans, she is doing too much and finally takes the trophy as the most disliked. The rising actress was, after her hit movie Native Girl in 2018, still unknown with a reputation sparking clean and no iota of scandal or controversy to her name. Suddenly, the actress found herself in the spotlight in April of 2022, just after she became the face of a scandal involving popular actor Yol Edoche. In a shocking Instagram post, the youngest son of the veteran actor, Pet Edoche, announced that he had welcomed a son with another woman, his colleague Judy Austin, and has gone ahead to pay a bright price to become his second wife. Sharing a picture of their child with the caption, It's time for the world to meet my son. His name is star Dike Munachimso Yol Edoche, born by my second wife, Judy Austin, and I love him so much, just as much as I love my other children. The actor's wife of 17 years, May Yol Edoche, appeared shocked, writing in the comment section of her husband's post, May God judge you. Heartbroken, May couldn't contain this level of betrayal and had no choice but to move on with her life. Over 18 years ago, University sweetheart Yol and May Edoche tied to Newtown North and will go on to have four beautiful children, three boys and a girl. And for years, many people looked up to the actor's marriage. It didn't help that Yol often bragged about how he was in a happy marriage and the head of a happy home. In December 2020, Yol Edoche in an Instagram post recounted how he married May when he was unemployed. Yet, she didn't frustrate him, even for one day, only supporting him and his dreams. 
even if that meant abandoning her own dreams to become a full housewife. The actor bragged that they had been happily together for 16 years and that different things work for different couples. Well, it turns out that the only thank you may deserves for sticking by him like a good wife is getting cheated on and having a husband marry a rival into their home when she just started enjoying the fruit of all her labor and patience. Despite all the declaration of love and happy marriage, Yole Doche has been working with Judy Austin since 2016 after the actress joined Nollywood in 2012. What we're not sure of is when they truly hit it off as lovers. However, dropping breadcrumbs, Judy Austin often celebrated Yol Edochi on his birthdays since 2016 after they featured as husband and wife in a movie. As time passed, Yol began directing most of Judy Austin's movies, including In the Other Room, until that fateful day in April of 2022 when he finally introduced her as his second wife and mother to his love child. Coming between a loving, beautiful couple and a fantastic family, Judy Austin did not see any wrong in becoming Yol's second wife. To her, she has finally married a crush and the love of her life. She will continue to express this in posts most fans dubbed as insensitive. Yol Edochi, on the other hand, would take to his Instagram page to share photos of wife number one and wife number two, totally snubbing May's rejection of becoming a second wife. But if you thought Yol was the only one who disregarded May's feelings after he betrayed her, you are wrong. Judy was also everywhere on social media, bragging about being the second wife of Yola Doce, calling herself her excellency. Just like Yol, she cashed out big from the scandal, running adverts back to back. Even when May Edoche fans promised that karma was coming, the actress and filmmaker didn't flinch about all the falls around a new marriage and the hateful reactions she was receiving. While all this was happening, May Edoche was seriously hurting and in July 2022, the mother of four opened up about a battle with depression. In a Facebook Live, she explained, I don't wish this upon my enemy, if at all I have any. I don't think I have enemies, but if at all I have any, I do not wish this upon them, you know. Depression is real. And there are different stages of depression. You know, for me, rather than dwell in depression i chose to i decided to pick up the pieces of a beautiful world that i had a very beautiful world an amazing one that suddenly shattered that suddenly crushed i decided to pick up the pieces and try to move on rather than dwell in depression. It's not been easy. It's not been easy. May wasn't alone. Her children were severely affected by their father's actions. Danielle, her first child, was one of the first to deny her father publicly, begging Nigerians to stop tagging her in embarrassing news about him. Months after, the 17-year-old took to a TikTok page to reveal that men show no mercy to their partners. Even with his home on fire, Yol, in collaboration with his new wife, would not stop reminding May and her fans that she is not the one and only, but now a numbered wife. As if Judy's reputation had not been tainted enough as a home wrecker, the actress's ex-husband, who goes by the name Obasi, came for her head in October of 2022 and revealed that Judy has been cheating with Yol Edoche since 2012 even though at the time, they already had kids. He was the one sponsoring a university education. In December of the same year, Obasi claimed that he returned to an empty house one day, with Judy taking his kids too. Uh, please, uh, I am uh, Obasi Manuel. Mr. Obasi Manuel, I'm calling from uh, our nature, precisely, Anambra State. Uh, I've been having problem all this while, but um, I have now decided to voice out about my feeling, what I've been passing through since uh, 2011 to date. And I married with uh, one Uchechuku Moyalo of Umoji, Uruwebe village. So we married each other in the year 2007. 
3rd November 2007. I did every requirement traditionally about that marriage. So we live very, very happily, very happy home till uh, 2012. The father of two said he no longer cares about Judy returning to his home and he wants to have access to his kids. According to him, before Yol and Judy got married, he still had limited access to his kids, but once the actor paid a bright price, Yol banned him from seeing his children, adopting them as his own as if their birth father was dead. Obasi didn't stop there. He also alleged that he is the son's father, which Judy claims she had with Yol. According to him, Judy still had intimate moments with him when the child was conceived, and only a DNA test could prove him wrong. Fans reacted, with thousands agreeing that it's one thing to marry a second wife, it's another to be accused of denying your ex-husband access to his kids and committing paternity fraud. In December 2022, Judy Austin's best friend, Sarah Chuku Kere, committed an unforgivable sin during the 2022 Christmas celebration. May had taken to her Instagram page to share adorable photos with her four children while wishing her fans a Merry Christmas. Hours later, Sarah Chuku Kere photoshopped Yol, his second wife, Judy Austin, and their baby boy inside the photo posted by May. Reacting to this, Yesu Sarah, beautiful family, as it should be, the blessed man with a blessed family. Everybody will be living in peace, love, and jolly. May Zukwan Reke. Even though May has clearly stated that she would not be cajoled into polygamy and would not be forced to accept the new wife, Judy refused to condemn her friend's action or apologize to May on behalf of Azilio's friend. Instead, as Yol continued bragging about being a proud polygamist, Judy followed suit, bragging about being his second wife. In May of 2023, the stress of the new polygamy home took a toll on the Edoche family after Judy reportedly welcomed a second child with Yol. While May, once a happy housewife turned entrepreneur, lost goods worth millions of naira after her shop got robbed. As if the worst hadn't happened yet, May lost her first son, Kambili Chuku, to the cold hands of death on March 30, 2023, after he suffered a seizure while playing football with his friends after school, causing many to erupt in rage and pounce on Judy Austin. Referring to some of her posts on Instagram, advertising love charms and various kinds of juju, many people began to accuse Judy Austin of being behind Kambili's sudden passing. Some said she eliminated the child because it was a direct rival to her son with Yol Edoche. Some said she did it to frustrate May Edoche out of her matrimonial home. It didn't end here. Those who did not believe in Juju had a different version of the event. They believed that Kambili died due to the stress of the polygamous home after Judy came into the picture. They claimed that if Yol had not brought the second wife, Kambili would have continued to thrive in a happy, stable home and still be alive. They claimed the emotional stress of the unstable home and watching his mother go through severe heartbreak led to his untimely passing. As millions of people pounced on her, Judy was forced to keep her Instagram account under lock and key, limiting comments. Yol and his elder brother, Link Edoche, have unfollowed each other after Link spoke out about the death of his 16-year-old nephew. I pray that by the grace of God, we're going to emerge stronger from this, but I also know the evil has an expiry date. But if you thought Judy Austin had learned a lesson and would start threading carefully, or at least keep quiet, you are so, so wrong. On April 27, the second wife was again on the wrong side of history after posting about the late Kambili. This is coming just hours after Yol Edoche finally broke his silence and made a tribute to his son on his verified Instagram page. The actress took to her Instagram page to post the candle while praying that Kambi Yol Edoche rests in heaven with God. God knows best. Rest in heaven with God, great son. Kambi Yol Edoche. Judy wrote, Almost immediately, the actress came under attack for mourning the actor's son. Many criticized her for daring to post about Kambili before his mother posted about him. Some called her out for her insensitivity towards the family at their grieving moment urging her to leave May and her family alone to grieve appropriately and heal. And to some, Judy made the post to mock May because, according to them, May never accepted her. 
Among some celebs shaming the actress, veteran movie star Georgina Onuoha described Judy Austin as a wrench for morning Camby. She wrote on Instagram, A son that you wrecked his parents and caused untold emotional damage to. Why is this part an incorrigible wrench so full of SHIT? It's like they have never given this undesirable element a lesson of a life. Only a wrench will dare this level of stupidity. Reacting again after she posted this video, the former Nollywood actress reacted and said, Even the devil worshipped God the most, had the sweetest of voice, was called the morning star. Yet, when he tried God's might and wanted equity with God, he was cast into hell from the heaven and shamed. God called him Lucifer. As the scriptures say, no one calls God's name more than criminals and sinners, yet they are far from God. Oche Maduagu, known for dragging Judy Austin, did not keep quiet either. The actor faltered as he always and said she should have called May on the phone to comfort her or mourn Yul's child privately. But coming out to make a post about it is insensitive. If indeed you consider yourself part of that family, then calling the mama of the Peking should be more important than making a post. Reacting again after she posted this video, Uche Maduagu told Judy Austin to stop talking about God's love. Rejoicing and thanking God about safe delivery of your Peking, when May is yet to mourn on social media, is unreasonably uncaring. It's morally unacceptable. He added, God does not fight the battle for those who follow other women's husband, get belle, and then allow them pay their bride price. Hey, <laughs> Christianity does not support that lifestyle. Guys, kindly continue to pray for me. They no go use polygamy. Reward your years of loyalty in marriage. God loves me so much. I know it might sound strange to a lot of people, but God loves me so much. I don't know if he loves anybody as much as he loves me. After watching the video, Bibi Ninja star and actress Venita Akwofore revealed she would be adding May Edoche to her list of prayer points. She added that if she doesn't, she could end up being jailed. Bibi Ninja's Nina was another celeb who couldn't keep her cool after seeing this video. Reacting, Nina described Judy as someone who stole someone's husband. She added that it was quite audacious for the actress to claim that God loves her when her husband had just lost his son. Also reacting, social media users took turns sharing their hot takes. One user wrote, This woman really said she doesn't know if God loves anybody the way he loves her so much. Clown! And he hates the remaining 12 billion of the world's population. Yeah, yeah, they smell. Another wrote, Is this lady's audacity for me? She has really thrown the essence of shame and morals to the dogs. Another commented, It's the lack of emotional intelligence for me. Y'all, so God hates me, Abby? Hmm. <laughs> Y'all are just plain insensitive and wicked. Shake my head. One wrote, A special child doesn't scatter another woman's house. A special child is a blessing and not a curse. How can you cause pain and agony to a fellow woman and still claim to be special and loved? This is totally absurd. One user commented, Nigerians would bully Judy Austin to depression. A man defiles his marital vows and marries another woman. The woman is the one receiving all the hate. You are like blaming women for what men do. Another wrote, The person that is thinking that y'all and Judy can separate is wasting their time. Judy just told you all she is not moved by all your antics against her. And guess who shared it? Y'all, of course. Keep backing. Esther Uwanchuku, who once bragged about engaging in controversies to gain popularity, came to Judy's rescue describing her as the strongest woman she knows. The actress claimed that whether Judy posts or not, netizens would still tackle her. Esther also took a swipe at Georgina Onuoha for trolling Judy Austin. While many Nollywood stars aspire to be sweethearts, others have quickly become the most disliked in history. Tell us guys, what do you think about Judy Austin's journey to become the most despised actress in Nollywood? Does she deserve this level of dislike for loving a married man or is it unwarranted? Tell us, how long do you think Judy will continue to be on the wrong side of history? Finally, could it affect a career and eventually tank a marriage with your Edoche? I'm a special child. I am so special. Share your opinion in the comment section down below.
If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.